LBS using device recognition allows for a true physical verification of an IC design. So as opposed to net-based PCB designs, which are built using instantiated components, RFICs often have a fair degree of device complexity. So in IC processes, a lot of these components, like transistors, are built and defined entirely as sets of overlapping layers. And to illustrate this, I'm going to run an LBS on a low-noise amplifier IC that I recently taped out using ADS. And this is actually done in Agilent's own Tech Center indium phosphide HBT process. Now probably the, the simplest component on this IC is just a thin film resistor, which I'm showing here, and it's defined by a layer called TFR, and that's shown in green. And the contacts to the resistor are in metal 1, which is the lower metal layer, and that's shown in blue. So any time that there's an overlap of metal 1 and the thin film layer, there's a connection to the resistor. Well, let's say that in the process of routing the output connection under my choke inductor, I accidentally run a segment of metal 1 over part of this resistor. Now, it might be a little hard to spot that. If I run a pin-based LVS, it, it just treats that resistor as a set of two pins at either end, and it turns out that I won't notice anything unusual at all. I'll, I'll pass my LVS just fine. But in reality, the combination of layers creates a third terminal under the device, and that's really bad. So now I will rerun my LVS with device recognition. And remember, I need to have a set of rules which maps the overlapping layers to devices, but once I have that, then the LVS should indeed correctly flag this resistor as a three-terminal device. Now, if you're an astute designer, you'll take advantage of the fact that the metal 1 over resistor is a short circuit to make design changes more quickly. In other words, I can make a variant with a lower value of resistor by just extending metal 1 over this TFR layer. And why would I want to do this? Well, if I wanted to tune or change it later, I could do that in just a single metal mask change. So here I will put a metal 1 short over this resistor and it should change the value. So to do that, I'll, I'll open up the LVS and I'll rerun LVS with the option to check parameter mismatches. And sure enough, it does tell me that the resistor is a lower value due to my intentional metal one short. And here's the actual resistor value which is extracted directly from the layout. So now all I'd have to do is adjust my schematic and I've got a new variant. And that's device recognition, Joe.